will like us study the differences of geometry and topology again. Now, last time, the topology lesson number three, I believe, we discussed the differences between geometry and topology. Well, we're going to do that today, too. So, geometry, geometry is the study of shapes. Well, topology is the study of continuous deformations. Continuous deformations. Formations. Okay. Okay, now let's start with the actual differences. So, let's, let's, let's uh, say we have two shapes in both studies. In both geometry and topology. So, uh, in school, you, you know you have learned that a square is not equal to a triangle. But that's only just geometry. That is only just one study. Of, of course, a teacher would freak out if uh, you said a, a square was equal to, to a triangle. But they actually can be. But this is not the case in geometry. Geometry, uh, they, they depend, her shapes depend on two things. I might think I have to raise this. Area and perimeter. Right. So, let's see the area of a square and the area of a triangle. So, the area of a square is equal to so the area of a square is equal to b h or s squared s, uh, s by the way is the length of one side of the square all sides of the square are equal and the perimeter is 4 times s because there are 4 sides in the square <laughs> Wait, four sides of the square, yeah. So, the area of a triangle is half the eight, obviously because it's half of a square. And the, and the perimeter... Wait. And the perimeter is A plus B plus C. While A, B, and C are are the sides of the triangle, the length of the sides of the triangle. So obviously these are different equations. So does that make uh, the uh, the different? Yes. That is why in geometry and top uh, in geometry uh, now in topology. They actually are the same. I already told you that if you told told your your elementary school teacher that told your teacher if you told your teacher that a square is equal to a triangle, as I said, you would probably freak out. But that actually is the case in terms of whether it satisfies the, the, the definition of topology. First, let's note that we can make a square into a triangle from continuous deformation. Gluing or tearing it. You can deform it you can deform it without gluing or tearing it apart. You can either you can either stretch it 
uh, or you can uh, compress it. Just like I told you, you can make a donut into a coffee mug. That's called the uh, continuous deformation because of their Euler characteristic. So, Euler characteristics are often are represented by something called chi. No, do, do not pronounce it like key, pronounce it like chi. So chi is equal to V minus E plus F. And we're going to find that for both of them. Now, let's start with the Euler characteristic for a square. So, there are minus, to make edges simpler, you can simply say there's squares, one, I mean sides, one, two, three, four, four edges or sides, plus, So, I is one. And there's a surprise. Chi, uh, chi is equal whether square. Chi of a square. The chi of a square is equal to the chi of a triangle. Let's see why. So, three vertices. One, two, three vertices. Minus one. Two, three sides or edges, plus there is one face. So in the next upcoming video about topology, uh, we we will learn that not not all the shapes are same same topologically just because of their Euler characteristic. They, uh, now. Before we say thank you for watching, I hope you took right to Barryside Lab, blah, blah, blah. We do our summary. Now, that, let's see, let's go back to where we started from. And that, and, ge and geometry has shape to rely on area and perimeter. So, <laughs> they rely on area or, or perimeter if they're the same. But in topology, they depend on Euler characteristics. But that's not always true. 